Hey everybody, it is June 6, 2007. I am Sonic Sons, and doing another E Nation video in response to Perry's latest, uh, Circle of Democracy. Uh, first off, yes, I do hope other people get more into this conversation besides the two of us, but I knew, though, some people are leaving comments and stuff, so, you know, maybe it is a conversation, even if it's just the two of us making most of the videos for the moment. I have little doubt that this thing will eventually expand. So you're talking about... Um, problems with the current democratic systems and saying that uh, people think that democracy is the be-all and end-all and it's not. Um, well, obviously, if by democracy you mean people deciding things collectively in some way, then like that kind of is the be-all and end-all. But what you mean, I'm sure, is, uh, is the current system of democracy wherein we have representative stuff um, people get elected, and then only a few years later do we judge again whether they ought to be elected or not. Um, and yeah, there are problems with that. Uh, but as it has always been, essentially, uh, a country, uh, any, any group really, is determined, you know, by the members of that group. Uh, democracy in itself can't work unless people, for instance, know what voting is, right? Uh, and people have some clue of whom to vote for. And therein lies much of the problem. Because much as we seem to recognize uh, all the, you know, that there's a lot of problems in politics, we all keep voting for politicians. <laughs> you know, I mean, politicians in the, in the bad sense of the word. There's also, of course, the good sense. We keep voting for people, you know, who are acting only on their own interests, and people who are, you know, giving off jobs to their cronies, and people who just don't care too much about justice and all that. You know, we elected George Bush over here. Not actually in the year 2000. In the year 2000, there was a glitch in the Constitution called the Electoral College, which meant that although Al Gore got 51% of the vote, he lost. It's ridiculous that we have not yet fixed that glitch. Uh, but in the year 2004, Bush, by all accounts anyway, got the majority of the votes. After he'd already proved himself to be a moron. <laughs> well, at least as far as leading the country goes, right? After we'd already invaded Iraq and, and found nothing. Most of Americans, upon the eve of those elections late 2004 thought to themselves that we had found something in Iraq. We hadn't. We hadn't found anything. But most Americans thought there was some connection between Iraq and uh, Al-Qaeda. And there wasn't. You know? just the, the president just been insinuating that. And he'd been insinuating all these clever ways, you know, with this, like, when we decide... Or, like, like... When the terrorists knocked down the towers on September 11th, we realized we had to attack Iraq. Not directly saying that Iraq was involved with September 11th, but implying it pretty heavily. Sneaky, sneaky little things. You know, but, but, but people believe this. And it's not like, you know, the president's the only source of information. You know, I mean, there's, there's all sorts of stuff out there... Yeah, in the media, but even more so, like, out on, just on the internet, you know, because the media is owned by just, I think it's six companies these days, pretty much owns everything. But out on the internet, you know, information is selling pretty well, and obviously there's a, there's a huge campaign going on, this whole John Kerry was, uh, had put plenty of money and resources into educating people that Iraq did not have an involvement, instead of right in the debate. Saddam Hussein didn't attack us. Osama bin Laden attacked us. And yet, most people didn't seem to catch on to that. Most people go like, Oh, wait! That means this entire war was pointless. That means we should not re-elect Bush. And hey, I'm not saying of great praise for Kerry, but he would have been better than, uh, than the guy we've got now. So my point with all that rambling, which I could go on for <laughs> several hours, I presume, on that subject... The point is, we elected George Bush, whom we are finally coming to realize is a bad president. Why did we elect him? 
Why do we like? It's not just George Bush. It's just he's just the most obvious example. It's it's bad politicians everywhere, in any country, you know. I mean, in some places there's like you know serious voter fraud and and then you could say that people didn't really elect this person or that person. But yeah, there, there are plenty of countries where the votes are counted pretty accurately and bad people keep getting elected to all sorts of various positions. Why, why is this? You see? Now, I don't want to give a free pass to the bad politicians. Obviously, I mean, they do bad things. They deserve punishment, right? At the same time, uh, we elected them! <laughs> How are we this stupid? I found a report recently. I have trouble believing this, but it was in the New York Times and everything. You know, pretty trustworthy stuff. Uh, and apparently, one out of five Americans believes that the sun goes around the Earth, but not vice versa. Eh? <laughs> Thought like, no, no way. No way. It's, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, actually. Yeah. What I thought Americans believe is that the sun goes around the earth. Who are these people? I don't... I don't... I don't get it. Where where, where do they live? Because I don't run into them very often. You know, a lot of the people I talk to um, have disliked Bush for a long time, you know? Maybe I just gravitate to people with similar opinions to me. I don't know. 